Hey Internet, welcome back. My name is Mark. Uh, I'm a student at NYU, but that's not particularly relevant today. Welcome to how to learn how to type. So I woke up this morning, it's 8.21 a.m., and I saw a comment on one of my typing videos saying that someone was an absolute beginner and these tips weren't helpful and they can't find videos for beginner typists or something along those lines. And I realized that they were entirely correct, that all the videos that I've made are how to get faster at typing, but not how to start typing. I do stand by the fact that of the handful of videos I've made, you can take tips from those to practice uh, typing. I decided, you know what, I need to get my brain going today. And immediately uh, several things came to mind for how to learn how to type. This is going to tie in a lot to a video I made called how to teach things to yourself. So I'm going to go over things that I guess if I were to learn how to type today, this is perhaps what I would do. Before that, I'll briefly talk about how I learned to type and what I did and stuff, but it's not my way or the highway. If you find something that works for you online, go ahead and use that. And if you're someone who is not new to typing and you're willing to stick around for this video, you know, have a skim through or even just, you know, stop now, but leave a comment down below and what did you use to learn how to type? What was one of the most helpful things to you? Uh, I'll try and heart any comments that I think are super valuable because the more resources, the better. And so I'm gonna tackle this video from three perspectives. One of them is specifically learning how to type and you know, how to use the keyboard layout. Two is going to be how to practice in a way. And three is simply just going to be a mindset to have, if you will. So again, nothing in this video is my way or the highway. If you find something that works for you, go ahead and definitely use that. Also, you know, these are the ways that I practice or I think I would learn. I guess just take everything with a grain of salt. We're gonna jump into the first bit and uh, really quickly, I wanted to mention how I learned to type. So when I was 12, I found the game Minecraft. And I, I have this one weird memory where I rem like was sitting there thinking, I was like in a little cave or something, I was like, Ugh, I wish I could type faster so I could talk to multiple people at once in this multiplayer chat channel. I just remember that for some reason. Maybe I made the memory up, who knows? Human psychology is weird, but I like to think I remember that. And so through practice, uh, I think I, you know, I applied typing, but in middle school, grade six, according to the American school system, I had a keyboarding class. We did keyboarding for, and this was typing, not piano. We did keyboarding for like, I don't know, a month, a month and a half. And I cannot remember what the name of the program that we used, but it was effectively, we had our keyboards, our clunky mechanical keyboards, and there was like an orange, like sticky thing that you would put over it. And I remember being able to type around 80 words per minute back then. And apparently people tell me I would like brag about it. <laughs> so casting my mind back to there and bringing my myself into this mindset of, okay, if I was not someone who was on computers for most of my life, how would I approach learning to type? The first thing that I will tell you, I'm going to assume the viewers are absolute beginners. And if you're not, again, you know, keep in mind, what is what was your mindset when you first learned how to type? Leave it down below. I'd love to hear people's thoughts that follow the outline of this video that I am coming up with as I go. So the first thing is on your keyboard, there are various keyboard layouts out there. Odds are, I'm gonna do this way because the mic's right here. Odds are you have a QWERTY keyboard, which means you Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Personally, I prefer QWERTY simply because when you sit down at a computer, the odds of it being QWERTY are incredibly likely. So there is a method called the home row method and I made a video about it here. <clears throat> but long story short, your key, your fingers are meant to um, stay on certain keys and I'll go ahead and throw an image diagram up here right now. Your fingers are meant to stay on certain keys and certain fingers are supposed to hit certain keys. Personally, I don't believe this is that important. The important thing with it is that A, you're not using just two fingers and B, you're using multiple of your fingers to get around the keyboard. So keep this in mind as we approach um, the first resource. Okay, the first resource that I want to go over for beginners that I have come across. Now, I have never truly used this. Um, I'm gonna hit get started. These are two websites I went over in one of my last typing videos, even more great typing websites for beginners. Apologies for the reflection of my glasses, not much I can do about that at the moment. In terms of someone who has done a lot of self-learning, this website, alongside typing.academy, for example, this is a website I use to learn Japanese. Every day I sit down and I review some characters and it teaches me some new characters and it has its, it has lessons laid out for you, if you will. And so do these websites. The only thing you need to bring to the table is a willingness to learn and a bit of patience for yourself as a learner. So as it goes to introduction to typing, it has these really cool videos that I'm going to skip because I don't, I mean, they're one minute. I don't want to use one minute of my video on this. I saw, so, you know, it's not my content. So I click keys F and J. 
I'm not sure what the introduction lesson is. Continue, and I'm gonna hit the F key with my left index finger and the J key with my right. Now, long story short, these websites will, this is how they work. F, 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 J, J, J. They will, they will be your teacher. Um, you don't necessarily have to worry about, this is just a reaction test. You don't have to necessarily worry about teaching yourself such that, you know, this is your guide. These will be your guides. All you have to do is sit down and if you're, you know, building a habit in terms of how long you should practice every day, sit down and do one lesson a day for starters. Um, and this is, if you're just starting out, this is 100% all I would recommend you do. This website um, is kind of similar. Again, if we type down, show typing lessons, the first step, base position. And again, this, these, they all use home row. I guess this one's not as clear. Typing club is definitely more straightforward in terms of those little, like, you know, F and J, so on and so forth, but L, 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 J, 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 uh, space, F, F, space, whatever. I have a fascinating idea about returning to these websites to specifically learn home row and see if it'll improve me as a typist, but I haven't gone to that yet. That is the first step of this video. Find a website or use one of these. I would say typing club, Typing Academy. Um, you can use them together if you'd like. Find a website like this, such that all you have to do is sit down and click a button and it comes up with the lesson for you. You don't have to find a website. You don't have to create your own drills to do. You don't have to worry about um, your own amount of practice. Just say, I'm gonna get one lesson done today. Now, if you scroll through and you're thinking, if I do one lesson a day, that's gonna take me two years. Um, that's actually, wait, I've never gotten this far down. I might actually have to look more into this. I've never realized that. It's the, do you type up the divine comedy? Uh, oh, this, okay, this is cool. Very cool websites are exist out there. These are just two that I know of. Check the comments for more uh, recommendations. And if you are someone who's going to leave a recommendation, try not to leave an exact link. YouTube might eat your comment. Um, so just label the website by name, like, oh, Typing Club, not typingclub.com. In middle school, when I learned, we would there were these games that you would play with typing. For example, you would be in a car, like it was literally like Nitro Type or Type Racer. So the second thing I would say is how to practice. So if you're just going through these lessons, keep practicing. You can use a variety of websites for general practice. One. I, I personally like it just monkey type. So, you know, if you're focusing on, you've just done the F and J lesson maybe, you can try and think about home row when you type all this out. Now I don't, this one's a hard one to kind of explain, but an, a question I get a lot is how often should I practice? That is entirely up to the individual. When you're building a habit, it's not very helpful. It's not incredibly helpful to sit down and say, I'm gonna practice for an hour every single day. If you're preparing for a typing exam in a week, you might have the drive to do that but you might not. Uh, when it comes to how long you should practice for, I would say just 15 minutes a day. If you're using Typing Club or Typing Academy, one lesson a day. The thing with progress, especially when you teach yourself, is that you're not gonna notice it happening. And I've said this before, this video on typing plateaus and stuff, check out there. You're not gonna notice your progress as you go through. Um, when people, you know, if you're trying to lose weight and you go to the gym and you come back and you notice there's no change on the scale, it's not that your effort wasn't worth it, it's that you're not gonna see a difference for three, four, five, six weeks. I can type it around, like I, I could probably sit down and type this 30 second test at 160 words per minute. Two years ago, I would have been like, I really wish I could get 120, but it's like there's no turning point that got me to 160, it's just time, time happens. So when you're looking to practice, you know, you, you're looking, you have lessons, and this is kind of pulled from that, um, typing video, you have lessons that you're using and you can apply them by going to websites like monkey type. Um, honestly, monkey type is an all in one. You can go to words, you can go to quotes to practice like, you know, practical typing Zen for, you know, hi there. My name is Mark. If you want to practice FFJJ, FJJ, FFJJ, that kind of thing, that'd be great. One more site. Uh, I would also recommend, and this is again, um, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> This is something I talked about in one of my typing videos, or typing website videos. You start off with the most basic keys. Again, this goes hand in hand with the kind of uh, lessons that you would do on Typing Club or Typing Academy. So it starts off with the first letters, it creates fake letters, or fake letters, it creates fake words that kind of match English 
structure, I believe, or something. And then it will give you ratings on them. So if you're coming from zero words per minute, just to recap up until now, note that there is a layout to the keyboard. If you look at a piano, you have C and through C eight times or nine times, and there's a pattern. A keyboard is not the same thing, obviously, but just note that when I look at the keyboard, I might see a pattern that maybe other people just see multiple keys. But the long story short is that the first thing you need to do is mindful practice with Typing Club or Typing Academy. The second thing is to apply that practice somehow and keep in mind that as you go through time, you will improve, inevitably. My thesis to life is that while there are people who are innately better at some things, you know, talent is this strange notion because talent does exist. There are people who are naturally better at things than others. I think I am pretty dexterous. I have good dexterity in my hands. I've played piano for a while. Karate is a lot of hand stuff. I've been typing for a while. I would not doubt the fact that doing multiple things with my hands has helped me with uh, typing on the keyboard. Yeah, so the first thing, learning. Second thing, application. And the third thing is just the perspectives that you can bring to the table, I guess. If you're someone who knows how to type at 80 words per minute, there's a bunch of tips I can give you to get to 100, and those are those handful of videos. But if you're a beginner, be patient with yourself, first and foremost. I am, may not be a beginner at typing, but I'm a beginner at many other things. At some point, if you learn something well enough, you become disconnected with the start of it all. Progress will be slow, things will be challenging, so on and so forth. Every big milestone is something to celebrate, and so, I would celebrate, mile, uh, create milestones for yourself. Now, one thing that you, I almost, you definitely should do, um, if you are someone who talks a lot, so for example, if I open up my Discord, this is almost dangerous to show. This is the only Discord, by the way, you can join here, um, and I go around on the channels. If you're talking to people, stay mindful about your typing. See if you can be like, okay, you know, Keep in mind that typing club said I should hit the I key with the right middle finger. So if I say hi, that's H with the left pointer and then I with the, the, the right ring finger. Things will vary for everybody. Nah, and this is just if I was new at typing or if someone, you know, someone literally did ask, I'm new at typing, what do I do? This is what I would say. Take everything with a grain of salt, whether that be my opinion or the existence of the home row method. I think it's a great way to learn how to how to type. If you learn the Homer method and then you break that framework, personally, one of my favorite ways to learn, you, know, you learn the standard ways of doing something and then you try and you, you, you try and break that. You give yourself some creativity. But in terms of starting, the home row method is a direction. You can justify any type of, you can justify two fingers. People can type up to hundred words per minute with two fingers. You can justify that. But as long as you tell yourself to stick with home row for a minute, you can potentially avoid the, oh, but it's fine if I hit all 10 of these left keys with my one finger. And again, be patient with yourself in terms of how many days you might wanna give yourself for each milestone, that's up to you. At the end of the day, you do want to push your existing limits. That's all for now. Um, this is literally just first step, go to Typing Club or Typing Academy or check the comments for other recommendations and suggestions and just start with these lessons because the most important thing that I have experienced with self-learning is being able to sit down and have lessons that are immediately clear as to what I'm doing. If it was not for Wani Kani teaching me kanji and Boon Pro with these grammar stats, even though my Japanese is slow, I would not be where I am at this point. It's just very nice to have something that says, all right, here's what you're doing today. Because if you go to monkey type every day, it's a great way to practice, but it gets tedious, especially when there's no specific goal in front of you. And lastly, these websites have achievements. They are gamified in pretty significant ways. I'm reading a book about typing by Sean Rona, Nerds Per Minute, which I intend to make a video about, see if there are tips and tidbits in that book that can get us better at typing, show us the ins and outs of things. So keep an eye out for that. Um, it is going to be a busy, busy month, but I will do my best. So thanks so much for watching. Again, if you are a typing person, go ahead and leave some suggestions in the comments. If you're a beginner, let me know if this helped. Leave your current speed now and come back later and check back in with me. Hopefully I talked slow enough in this video. <laughs> one of my biggest critiques is talking too fast. Thanks yet again for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you in the next video.